The saga that is Tamar Braxton's life continues. Yesterday, we did multiple reports on her going on social media and saying that her fiance, Jeremy Robinson, aka Bang Yang Yang Man, cheated on her with some 25 year old tramp. Her words, not mine. She even backpedaled. We did a follow up report where she backpedaled and she's like, I don't know if, if this is the woman that he was with in New Orleans. We also had Jeremy Robinson come out and basically say, we've been broke, broken up for six months. So even if I was with someone else, that wouldn't be cheating. Well, now Tamar Braxton is revealing a lot more. She's confirming that they actually did get married. And she also confirms that Tommy Lee T that Tommy Lee came out with. Girl. Welcome back to the Kempire channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So Tamar Braxton, look, I'm trying my very best to give her some grace here because I don't believe Bang Yang Yang Man, aka Jeremy Robinson, is completely innocent. But we kind of warned Tamar about this, even when she de decided to choose him on Queen's Court, that reality show on Peacock. However, we also have seen a pattern of behavior from Tamar over the years, not over the over a, a couple of months, over the years, and even recently. Well, now in a second video that she posted yesterday, She's ex responding to the video that he put out. If you miss any of this report, I did two separate videos yesterday talking about it, short form videos and long form. So be sure to check that out so you can get the full story if you haven't gotten the full story yet. Well, Tamar decided to go to her YouTube channel to break down what really was going on between the two of them and why she felt in a a way about him using her credit card on a rendezvous for with someone else. Apparently, she says that they've been working on their relationship, their marriage. All right, so I want to unpack this together. All right, let's see what she had to say. Um, anymore, but people be waiting for you to speak out so they can figure out what the hell they're going to say and how they're going to look because everybody knows that that's what that person cares about. And I just want to be very clear on nobody stopped the relationship with me. I stopped the relationship with them. I blocked that person. I blocked that person on social media. Um, and I only called that person to find out about my credit card being used. Now, everybody knows that let's not play stupid. OK, I don't go to bookings.com. I don't even really kind of know, you know, what that is or what's what's that about. Right. I use my physical card. If I do um, reservations is through I have a touring company, so we have our own travel agency. And so I, I'll go through that or I'll go through. Um, my American Express, right? Where I physically use my card. So we're not going to pretend that, oh yeah. And yeah, so I'm not going to pretend like, oh yeah. Um, they got our credit cards mixed up because I thought you were single six months ago. We went, so which one, which one we doing? You know what I'm saying? I mean, just here's the thing for me about guys. Pause for a second. Because I did watch that Jeremy Robinson banging Yang Yang video more than twice. He did say, <clears throat> The information, the credit card information could have been from a time se several months ago where they had booked a trip together. Just for clarity, because if you pay attention the way that I've listened to this video multiple times, Tamar has a way of giving you a little bit of truth, then spinning it. And I've noticed that as someone that has covered multiple videos on her and watching her and how she spins narratives... It's actually pretty scary. Guys, when, when, when things come out about men, they always say, oh, the woman is delusional. Oh, we wasn't together. Oh, I wasn't leading nobody on. And oh, they did the things on their own. Now, come on. How many times have we heard that story? And so I don't even know why we're trying to perpetuate that storyline today listen i'm for i'm in my 40s and I, come on i've had my fair share of relationships and you know my dealings with men and 
you know, when we having like male friends, I hear a lot of stuff. I've been around the world and I, 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 okay? So I've heard it all. So we're not going to sit here and pretend that anybody is not going to drop a bag on a man or go to a, a city like Turks and Caicos if there was not, if you didn't feel that there was a chance of reconciliation. And let's just be clear. I didn't ask myself. I didn't ask myself to no birthday parties. This person told me right over here at the St. Regis, I want you to be a part of my birthday. Now, if you're seeing this, this, that, and the other, why you want me to come? Now, y'all got to realize, now, the man didn't say the status of our relationship. At that time, we were very much married. Very much married. So, I am thinking that you know, I am pouring to my marriage that is troubled that, you know, I want because I love my kids. You know, I love, I love. My Pause again. She married this man after the whole Tommy Lee debacle. She married this man after multiple times him embarrassing her on social media, revealing that she was living with her mom, revealing that. Um, what was the other thing that he said? He said a couple of things. He embarrassed her multiple times. And she still decided to marry this man. They've had their troubles. Troubles that he talked about in his last video. Troubles that she's talking about here. You still decided to marry this man. And I can't even imagine that these two have been married a year because if she married him after the Tommy Lee of it all, then they haven't been, even been married that long before divorcing. Okay. My family, I love you. You know that. You you just said you love me. So now all of a sudden, now we not. Okay. So I'm pretending and I'm delusional and I made all of this stuff up. Okay. Now, I don't have to buy no man. I know who I am. I know the kind of money I make. I know the status of my life. I don't have to buy no man. But if I'm pouring into my relationship, pouring into someone that I want to rekindle something with because this is not my boyfriend, I'm wrong for that. Oh, and I'm on my own for that. And not you saying, oh, when your birthday come around, I'm a wah, 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 woom, woom. Like, I had absolutely no idea to feel like. I was in this by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like people have seen us out. People seen us at your favorite restaurant. Yes, you have been. We have been quote unquote living apart. And, and I guess you want to say single where we can, you know, date other people and see what's out there. But you clearly told me you wasn't with nobody. You clearly told me that you, you are emotionally unavailable and you just hit. I have more questions because first of all, you guys have not been married that long. I don't recall the Tommy Lee of it all. I can literally probably go back and, you know, recap the, the video that I did. But that wasn't a year ago. Matter of fact, let me, let me just do it while I am um, reviewing this with you guys. Because I literally just um, looked at the Tommy Lee video that I did covering this topic. And she says that they got married even after that. So let me, let me, look, let me pull it up. Let me just pull it up. That was eight months ago. So you guys got married and you were already separated and being single or at least taking a break and seeing what's out there. Like, I feel like, is that really fighting for your marriage? If you haven't been married that long, like you're, you're both newlyweds technically, but okay. Am I surprised? Not really, but I, I just want to give you the timeline of it all. All right, let's get back into this. And, wop, wop, and, woom, woom. and my whole thing, and let's not make it like, oh, I got men. I'm sorry, we keep being cut off, but this is important. And we're not going to make it like, oh, now Tamar got mental health issues. Now, y'all done seen this man. We're not going to pretend that this man ain't been, has not been airing me out and embarrassing me for the past six months. Now, if there was not an understanding between he and I, what? Y'all see me sit up here and take a bunch of L's and apologize and really try to work toward my marriage and try to, you know, fix shit. And, you know, because the truth is, y'all so much, I don't even really know. <laughs> you know, 
But just like he said, I'm not going to divulge everything, but I'm not going to let nobody sit up here and make it seem like I am delusional and deranged. And you clearly said you don't want me. Y'all know when I found out I was getting a divorce and my divorce is going to be final on our trip to Turks and Caicos. <laughs> Didn't say that. That's when I found out at the bar, I got an email. So let's not do that. Friend, don't do that. Friend, don't do that, you know? And here is the thing. I didn't, like I said before, I did not mean to post that lady. It could have been, it, like, it, it was a casualty of war. It could have been anybody. Because, like, he told me he was... I don't like the language she's using. I didn't mean to post that lady. But you decided to go to that lady's Instagram, screenshot it, and then post it on your Instagram story, and then take it down, and then regret later. I didn't. I I wanted to hope. I was hoping and praying it wouldn't go viral. Tamar, you've been in this business too long. Your increased notoriety and fame has been quite a few years at this point. So yes, you haven't been as known as Tony for for that long, but you definitely have had your many moments in media and you know people are going to catch that very quickly very quickly so you playing innocent here i i'm not falling for it that you that this woman was a casualty of war okay he busting down wop 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 he ain't even in nothing you know what i'm saying and i didn't say he cheated on me i said you played in my face because the truth of the matter is that you were supposed to be here for me to show up for me on sunday and you didn't do that and just like i told him like well this gotta be a two-way street boo like we we can't i can't show up for you and you don't show up for me that can't happen and so you decided to extend your trip and didn't say anything to me in, in New Orleans. And then I find out you, you, I didn't even say nothing to you. You know, I didn't even make it a big deal. I didn't, even, you know, like this person is making it seem like I got with D and we were getting married and I got with you and we got married and, 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 and I'm not, you know what I'm saying? It's just not like, oh, I'm addicted to the white meat. Like it was, but now it's different because you're using my car for not trying to make this a big deal. I swear, it's it's not about. I, I just was rewounding because I part of me is trying to make sense of this. I'm breaking this down. Cause I I watched this twice. Now I'm watching it again with you guys. So she first said that she called him because she saw someone had used her credit card, and she figured out that it was him and some woman. The the, the hotel told her this. Now she's saying that she was very calm when she approached him. I find that hard to believe, especially when you say that he was supposed to come and be there for you and he wasn't. He's extending his trip and now you see this information. So like the, the pieces aren't piecing together. I just want to point these elements out to you guys. All right, let's continue. Yeah, it's a thousand dollars. It's not it's not, you know, make or break. It's the point. The point is, is that you wanted me to sit back and let you not only use my card, let's just say it's a mix up. Okay, fine. But now it's different because you're using my card for your extracurricular activities. And let me just keep it gangsta. I wouldn't even trip on that. You know what I'm saying? Why, why? It's not that serious. Me and your relationship status has changed the way I see you have changed. You know what I'm saying? Just like you outside, baby, I'm outside too. Like, let's stop pretending like you is the last of the Mohicans. You are not. You know what I'm saying? It's just not like, oh, I'm addicted to the white meat. Like, it was fine for what I had, but okay. It ain't giving that. And, I, and, and the truth is, I, I put too much on it because we, are, we were married. And I take my vows serious. And I thought that you did too. And so the truth is I was waiting for you to come around like a wife because all I know how to be is a wife. I was married to Vince and that didn't work out. And I, I got with D and we were getting married and I got with you and we got married. And, 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 and I married you after you ate somebody, you know, whole booty, boo, whole booty sandwich. So let's not talk about what and what happened before then. Okay. 
Okay, so she admits to the Tommy Lee of it all. So for those that didn't watch the Tommy Lee video, I implore you to go back because I give you the full breakdown, literally, of what went there. And Tommy Lee really, really went there with, with Tamar and honestly just obliterated Tamar. But Tamar deserved it because instead of checking her man, she took shots at Tommy Lee during her live performance. Again, taking a moment that's supposed to be about, you, you always talk about, you, oh, why don't people report on the positive? You took a positive moment of you celebrating your iconic album, Love and War, to make it about your man and make it about Tommy Lee. And Tommy Lee just responded. Tommy Lee laid out what this man did to her. She also laid out that he talked about Tamar and she gave a lot of information then. Now Tamar's confirming that this actually did happen. This video that I did on this was eight months ago. Mr. Um, Jeremy Robinson confirmed that these two have not been together for the last six months. So how long have these two been married? Did they get married shortly thereafter the Tommy Lee of it all? Okay. Don't make it seem like I'm a bad person. Don't make it seem like I didn't put up with a lot. Don't make it seem like, oh, I've been so gracious to her. And, you know, I have been giving grace and she's a da da ba da ba da ta da wa wa No, baby. Don't do that. We have given grace to each other. And I hate that I posted that last night for that 10 seconds that I posted and now that it's a frenzy today. But the simple fact of the matter is that I tried to call you and I tried to talk to you and you were so nasty to me. And at the end of the conversation, you're going to tell me to go take my meds. Something that nobody else in the world knew and something that you tried to weaponize against me. Pause again. No one else knew. And he never broadcasted that to the world. So I just want to clear that part up. Tamar decided to share that information during her last YouTube live, which is fine. Should he have weaponized that against her? No. But take a listen to what she says next. Because Tamar is a lot more strategic and venomous than, than she likes to play. Are you saying that people who take mental medication or anxiety medication, they are not stable? I would hate for you to say that as a lawyer. Don't do that. Now she's coming for his employment. Just wanted to point that out. Like, pay attention to these little things that Tamar says and does where she tries to make it seem like I'm the victim, I'm innocent, he's weaponizing this against me, and then, and look, I'm not sitting here trying to defend Bang Yang Yang Man, because I, I, I peeped his game from the reality show, which I'm surprised that Tamar didn't, but okay. The fact of the matter is, I only came back to say this. Um, I am not delusional. I am not crazy. I don't have to throw myself on a man. And yes, we have been a strain for six months and we everything was just final on Friday. So let's not. And I'm gonna say this in closing because I don't wanna say too much. I've, I've probably already said too much, but my feelings are, are hurt because everybody is making it seem like I am crashing out over this person and I'm not. Um, I went ham simply because of your disrespect. And the truth is I should have gone ham a long time ago. And I did it because, um, and I'm sure that people have been here before when you're in love with a person who aren't in love with you back. And that was my case, but I didn't realize it until Turks and Caicos. I had no idea until Turks and Caicos. I knew that we had problems. I knew that, you know, things wasn't working, but I always thought that we loved each other because we always said that we did. And um, I always felt like, you know, with love, you can, that is a ground zero for you to rebuild. And so now that you feel like I have aired you out, <laughs> like you have aired me out for months and embarrassed me for months, you know, oh, now we ain't going to be friends. Well, that option is not even open to you because I'm the one who blocked you a few days ago. I'm the one who cut off social media 
and social media and all communication with you. So let's stop perpetuating that. Yes, you are the one who filed for divorce because you were the lawyer. We, you and I as a couple decided that. We don't make it seem like, oh, I got to leave. Because nah, 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 we're not even going to go there. So stop doing that. And I told, my, I told my daughter that I would not talk about her dad. But in the same interim, I hope she had the same conversation with you that you cannot talk about me. And make it look like I'm deranged and crazy. Now, I know you love Logan. I know you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, what your children means to me. And most of the reason why I was trying to hold together our union. But what I'm not going to do, Jay, is feel like I got used. Because I did. Of course, I do a lot for a lot of people. You know, and you know I do a lot for a lot of people, financially, gift-wise, whatever. I, that's just my nature. I didn't think that I was, oh, dropping a whole bag on you and now we're going to get back together. No. I didn't think that. But did I feel a certain kind of way when you was nasty with me and you used my car for, for entertaining some... And I said tramp because that you the one who said that's not your woman. You're the one who said that you you can't you hitting them off. You you hit the jump offs and they, ain't, they don't mean nothing to you. And you know it's it's just sex. You told me that. So if the defamation that is you giving me the information. So she's referencing because in Bang a Yang Man Bang a Yang Yang Man's video, he referenced defamatory statements that she made about. This woman, Miss J, who in the Jasmine Brand's comment section says, this is wrong. This is incorrect. I am not some sort of tramp. She didn't say all that, but she basically was saying what Tamar was accusing her of was false. So regardless of, I'm no attorney, regardless of that, Tamar, he never told you that this woman was a tramp. This woman is saying that I have nothing to deal to do with when it comes to this man. You called her a tramp on social media on your platform of millions of followers. Hello? And and y'all was following it and talking to each other way more than three days ago, JR. Don't do that. Let's like, stop making it like I'm trying to be crazy because I don't want this for us. Now, as in a certain amount of time, maybe a year, 19 years, 30 years, we could talk, but you know. Yeah, it's a no for me, dog. And it has to be a no for me because I have to start loving me. And clearly, you know, all the work that I'm doing, you know, I'm definitely skipping over loving me because I felt like I loved you and I, I loved what we could have been and what we were more than myself. And I am so sorry, you know, to everybody out there that I, you know, put out this post last night. I was praying to God that it didn't go viral. I was praying to God that it didn't, you know, that nobody caught it. I was, you know, praying to God because I knew that, you know, it wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do. It was an emotional thing. But I mean, sometimes when you have been disrespected to the level that I have been disrespected from this situation publicly, it'd be too much, you know? And um, I, I apologize to everybody that was hurt behind it, especially to my kids that I love so much. Um, and um, I'm never going to keep you away from your son. I'm never going to, and I hope that you don't keep me away from my kids, but you know, I just feel like the way that you try to twist this story is unforgivable and sad because you know, I came to you calmly and nice after not speaking to you and asked you what happened with the card. And this could have been all avoided, but you're nasty. And uh, every woman that's gotten online has said the same thing. Like, you're nasty and you're not nice and I didn't do anything to you and I, it ain't given more then okay so I I just want to so if you've heard from multiple women that have said about talked about Jeremy Robinson called him nasty everyone has said these things about him according to you okay you still decided to stick with this man despite the many times that he's embarrassed you on social media. You decided to stick with this man. Not only stick with this man, you also decided to marry this man, which was recently uh, finalized, she says. That, that was a quick marriage and a quick divorce. Okay. Only and nice after not speaking to you and asked you what happened with the card. And this could have been all avoided but you're nasty. And uh, every woman that's gotten online has said the same thing. Like, 
you're, you're nasty and you're not nice and I didn't do anything to you and I wasn't trying to be in your business and you know me and you don't even have that relationship um but I said you played in my face and I meant that and you have been playing in my face for a while now and I'm sorry that I snapped online um and I'm sorry this is where we are but we can wrap this up because I have nothing else to say um, and I'm going actually about to go and film something, you know, for a while. And so I won't even be here. So everybody go and enjoy what y'all enjoy. And I'm taking everybody out the chat. And once again, I apologize, you know, to everybody. It was an emotional 10, 15, 30 second post. And, um, this is what happens, you know, when families fall apart. And this is what happens when people are hurt. And this is what happens when, you know, um, people are, you know, fall out of love. And, um, I, but I'm in the same token, I'm not going to let anybody weaponize me about my mental health journey. It's something that I'm really proud of and that I worked really, really, really hard on. Like we have to really normalize not doing that to people and taking a jab at them when that's all you have left. Because, you know, this could have all been avoided. Um, I snap when you said take your meds. Like, oh. Again, she says this all could have been avoided. Yes, Tamar, if you take a little accountability, this all could have been avoided if you didn't go to social media and post about this random woman that none of us knew. And I don't know how you knew whether or not they've known each other more than three days. Maybe you've been watching his Instagram a lot longer than that, and that's how you knew. I don't know. But yes, this all could have been avoided if you did not go to social media. The same way you didn't go to social media and announce that you were married until recently. She did post, like, I'm a married woman. We were like, you're married? You could have easily kept us out of the group chat, and this could have been your own personal fight at home. Now, if he took to social media and blasted you, then we'd be like, oh, see, Tamar kept us out of the group chat, but he's the messy one. He is messy. Don't get me wrong. But... If you look at both videos, his video versus her video, the person that looks messy is Tamar because you are the one that decided to go to social media because you are emotional and angry because of what he did in regards to using your credit card to on one of his rendezvous. <laughs> and anybody with, you know, mental health issues that really take their mental health seriously know that that is a, whoa, that's a lot. It's like an alcoholic and you say, go take a drink. But anyway, uh, I promise this is it because it's gone way too long that I wanted it. So I just wish everybody well. God bless y'all. Good night. Um, I'm going to continue working on me. And I know y'all probably really tired of me right now. And I'm tired of myself. <laughs> I'm tired of this always being a thing. And um, yeah, it's just got to be another way than coming to social media. And you guys are absolutely right. So, um, and the people that have been patient with me and riding along with me, I appreciate y'all. And I'm sorry I keep letting y'all down, but I'm human. And um, after my sister's death, the last thing I wanted to go through was a, a divorce. And um, that's it. All right, well, I'm sure I will find y'all soon and love will find me soon. And But for right now, I'm going to be focusing on work and my baby and... I love y'all. Have a good day. Okay. Hopefully she will work on herself. Honestly, Tamar, you need to, I mean, I really hope that she is in therapy. And that's the thing. You know, when we were talking about therapy on the channel, I said that was one of the great things about a lot of the online therapies that are available right now. Because there, there, are, there are moments, I, I understand it. I told you guys this. I was like, there was a moment one time I wanted to go on social media and just rip. <laughs> But then I said, oh, wait, that's why I have a therapist. So I'm just going to use my therapist and get all that information, all of that, those feelings out to my therapist. And I get it. Not everyone is going to have that ability, especially if you're dealing with mental illness. Not saying that's what she's dealing with. I guess we can because she's confirmed that she is on medication. However, everyone's level of control is different. And I think because Tamar has been rewarded because of the reality TV show, because of her antics on reality television, she's been rewarded. She's gained a, a, being a notable person for those antics. No matter how, I know a lot of us say like, oh my gosh, I'm so over it. I don't want to see it anymore. But she still has a large fan base that loves her emphatically. 
and she's rewarded for these antics. And yes, I do question the timing of these antics coming around when she has the Braxton's out or new music coming. I do question that because I do believe there is a level of narcissism and just lack of accountability when it comes to Tamar Braxton. I really hope delving yourself into work isn't the work that Tamar needs to do. You need to continue your work because you got to pay your bills. However, continue your work with your therapist and that self-work. And literally, when we were recapping the Braxtons, I said to you guys, I don't know if I believe what Tamar is giving us on the Braxtons. I feel like the Braxtons is basically a PR stunt for Tamar's rebrand. And I'm not convinced by it. And literally, why I'm not convinced? Because now, here we are this week, in the three videos in, talking about her antics on social media. Lack of accountability. <sighs> Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts and opinions on another Tamar Braxton related to Bang Yang Yang Man video. Let's continue this conversation in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the